Rozia Muradi, PhD scholar from Afghanistan. First of all, I'm so thankful for the Indian people and Indian government for the <laughs> for the constant support with Afghanistan. Particularly, we appreciate the initiative and support that the Indian government had with the Afghan Sikh and Hindu. Uh, I have three questions that shortly I will uh, uh, ask. First question is that now, what will be your further action for the other ethnic minority, uh, specifically Hazara community in Afghanistan, who are uh, suffering from the discrimination and violence in Afghanistan? Secondly, how does the current situation of Afghanistan affect the India and what will be the strategic plan of India while dealing with the Taliban and the new regime in Afghanistan? My third question is, what is the humanitarian plan of India to protect people at risk, specifically students, scholars, women, human rights defenders and refugees. Thank you. This is, this is, this is Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, main, what I will do, one of the first questions and the other one was, there was an overlap. So, I will tell you this. You asked, what is the strategic approach? How do we influence our countries? And the other question was, how will you deal with China? Now, the rise of China is the biggest uh, happening uh, in the in the last, uh, I would say, 25, 30 years uh, in the world. We are the neighbors of China. Hum China ke pados mein hai. It is not possible that we are not deeply and directly impacted by the rise of such a such a major power. It will happen. Now. We cannot take the view that you know, they will adjust that they will adjust to us. They will rise. We have to it's competitive. Politics is competitive, world politics is even more competitive. We have to find ways today how do we compete uh, with other countries? How do we protect our interests? Like Dunya Johai, Kisi Kili Kushnikati, Hame Apna Karna. आत्मनिर्भर भारत जो है ये राजनीति में भी कूटनीति में भी तो we are today trying to see how can we achieve greater strength uh, we cannot sometimes I read that India is a great services power yes services is very good but you cannot have only services a country which doesn't have Manufacturing is a country which doesn't have bones in the body. Uh, you cannot manufacture everything. But we do not want, you know, which one of us wants a situation that we are the market for other other factories and other manufacturing. I mean, you, you are from a, uh, in a state which has a very strong history of industrial production and manufacturing. Do we want to uh, to see that everything which we in our daily lives is imported from China, which we can make ourselves. Nobody wants that. So, we today have to work with our neighbors and that is why the first step which Narendra Modi took in foreign policy was to call all our neighbors. At the Shapat Grahan Mein Jo Kya Tha And since then, you will see whether it was Covid, whether it was Nepal earthquake, uh, whether Sri Lanka. I mean, Sri Lanka is going through a very difficult situation. One country which is helping Sri Lanka without any strengths is India. So, I can tell you, you know, our neighbors are comfortable with us. Uh, we, 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 we all share so many, uh, so much, uh, you know, culture, language, religion, uh, all of us play cricket. It's a, it's a, it's a very big uh, commonality. Uh, but we also must understand neighbors will look to see where they can get advantage 
if they feel there is some other country which will do something they will of course try we have to compete and i can tell you one thing you know this country has the ability when i look i mean one of the reasons i like meeting young people going to universities going to school i see the energy i see the the confidence in young people and i see in last 8 years what vision and leadership can give to this country that we are capable of many many things it is just we have to believe that we are capable of it and we need to have a leadership which will set the targets which will create the policies uh, which will encourage people to to express their talent so it could be, as i said uh, you know today i perhaps more than any other indian i know what i hear what the world says about india the world looks at our handling of covid the world sees how in the middle of uh, you know this ukraine conflict we have stood up for the interests of our people the world sees the changes in india the digital changes the smart city changes the economic changes people see innovation so our our image is changing our capability is changing we need to believe in ourselves and if we do that i can tell you actually we are capable of competing with everybody that question how do you reconcile atmanirbhar bharat and foreign commitments you know last year was our biggest year in export now i am saying it in surat where you are exporting diamonds and textiles it is our biggest year not not going back to pre covid ever in our exports and we are today we have the capacity to compete with people in different sectors now we should deal with the world because no country can make everything you know the policy which was there earlier that you know in import substitution kare bahar se kuch nahi laaye that is not a reasonable policy uh, anymore you know we are very we are pharmacy of the world but we have to import apis from some countries so there is a global supply chain we are big diamond exporters but we are also importers of raw diamonds so today's globalized economy it is not ki aap ghar mein banaye ya bahar aap dhanda kare they are part of the same thing what we have to decide is uh, are we only the market or are we the producer i think we are the producer i think we have the capability of becoming a big economic player we should not be the fifth largest economy without the employment of fifth largest economy that's why when i gave you that example of what uday kotak uh, was uh, talking about for me it is not economy should be big you can get 9% growth rate but with very uh, not reflected in actually the employment of that uh, activity so we need today employment centric economic growth we need manufacturing in this country we need innovation in this country we our talent in services in the digital world has to be uh, promoted in different ways and then i think we should actually become a very major global economic player i think that is that is the kind of vision which the prime minister has and which i think the young people the coming generation will be able to uh, fulfill finally the question uh, which uh, uh, our friend from afghanistan asked you know some very very tragic things are happening in afghanistan uh, you spoke about uh, the hazara community very very recently maybe some of you may not know you know there was attack on a school uh, and lot of young children were killed uh, in a school which was uh, uh, many of them from that uh, community look india cannot determine what is happening in afghanistan afghans have to determine what is happening in afghanistan what india can do is in a difficult time give help to the people we are doing to the people we are not giving it uh, you know it's not a 
political step. It is not something which is done government to government. We have sent food. We have sent medicines. We have sent vaccines. We have tried to to uh, help the Afghan people in a very very difficult situation. 